need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, it will appear as an embedded chart object within the worksheet. When a chart is embedded within a worksheet, you can move it around within the worksheet and also resize it to a desired size. Before you do this, however, you will need to ensure that you have the chart area selected. To select the chart area, you can either click into the blank area of the chart object to select the entire chart, or you can choose the chart area choice from the chart elements drop-down within the current selection button group on the format tab of the chart tools contextual tab within the ribbon. To move the chart, click and drag inside the chart area within the chart. The mouse pointer will appear as a four-pointed arrow while your chart is being moved. When the chart is in the desired location, release the mouse button to drop the chart into its new location within the worksheet. To resize the chart, place your mouse pointer over one of the white resizing squares that appear at the four corners of the selected chart. When you are in the correct position, you will see your mouse pointer become a double pointed arrow. At that point, click and drag to resize the chart area to your desired width and height. Also, you may want the selected chart to appear as the only object within its own worksheet. You may also want to move the chart to a different worksheet, but still have it remain as an embedded object within a different worksheet. You can accomplish either task by selecting the chart area and then clicking the Move Chart button that appears in the Location button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. Doing this will open the Move Chart dialog box. Here you can decide where to place your chart. First select either the Option button for New Sheet or Object In as desired. If you choose New Sheet, then type the name for the new worksheet into the text box to the right of the Option button. This option places the chart as the only object in its own worksheet. This maximizes the amount of space available for plotting charted data. If you select the Object In option, then use the drop-down to the right of that option button to select the name of the worksheet into which you want to embed the selected chart object. Once you've made your choice in this dialog box, click the OK button to move the chart. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.